Back to the ingredients. So we have an hour to preheat the oven. So what I like to do is, let, actually let's take a look at this dough. Two days now, it's been 48 hours in the fridge. And yeah, that's proofed up pretty nice, look at that. Definitely two to three times its original size. Lots of air pockets on the bottom, looking nice. Okay, so just leave that out, cover it up with something, you know, keep it clean. I'll leave that out an hour, give or take. Also the other ingredients, it's a little tip that I sort of found useful. So I'm gonna leave the cover, the plastic on, gonna leave the cover on the jar, but I'm gonna leave this stuff out at room temperature too. Because when it's really cold and you add the cold toppings to your pizza that you have on your pizza peel, I feel like it wants to stick more to the, to the peel. We'll get into that when we shape the dough and the peel. Okay, so I have this jumbo pizza peel. This sucker's huge. I've made 18 inch pizzas on this. Okay, it's probably overkill. Maybe you have a smaller pizza peel. Maybe you don't have a pizza peel. You could try any sort of flat surface, but you definitely have to coat it. You know, you're gonna put some cornmeal or some semolina flour. We'll go into that in a second. So you need a tool like this to launch the pizza in the oven. That's really the critical moment, right? The moment of truth, getting that pizza in the oven. You have one shot. Okay, let, let's go over that real quick. So let's say you got your pizza on your pizza peel. You have some cornmeal and or semolina flour, you know, underneath. Nice and ready to go. You're gonna bring it to your stone or your peel, maybe about like a 30 degree angle. Bring it to the back. This is the moment of truth. You're gonna pull it back and hopefully it doesn't fly all over the place, okay? So that's, we'll see, that's the moment of proof. And I have this guy right here, which I'm gonna call a pizza spatula. I don't really know what these things are called. Maybe a pizza retrieving tool. But anyway, so imagine the pizza's in the oven and I wanna get underneath, rotate it, okay? Or just retrieve it and put it out on a cooling rack. So that's, that's the pizza retriever and the pizza launcher, okay. All right, now we're making pizza, okay? I just got started, you can see I pressed my fingers in, made like a eight, nine inch diameter pizza, so we're off to a good start on a nice round pizza dough. This is difficult to do with one hand. Bring it over to the flat surface. I'll come back in a second. I'm gonna need both hands to do this next part. Okay, I have the pizza stretched out. It's probably, this one's probably about 15 inches was getting a little too thin in the middle, so don't want to risk it, right? But as you notice, I like my pizza crust very thin. So you do you, right, to each their own. I tend to like a thin crust with the toppings that go like almost all the way, all the way to the edge, almost. That's kind of like my personal preference. My name is Paper Thin Pizza, right? So got to live up to my name. But, you know, you do you. This is what mine looks like. I leave a little bit of a lip on the edge, some air pockets. On the edge there will be a little crust not much and again this this guy's about 15 inches i would say just going to transfer it onto the peel i'll just show you really quick we have the pizza crust on the peel and you can see i have it like all the way to the edge so that's going to help me out when i launch it in the oven okay you can see we have the sauce on the crust look at how nice and beautiful that chunky red tomato sauce looks Next, obviously, we're gonna put on the cheese. All right, so we put about eight ounces of sauce on the crust. I just put about another eight ounces, seven, eight ounces of cheese. Okay, that's the mozzarella cheese. And this is the time for the magic here, the pecorino. Like I said, you know, not that much, maybe like an ounce. We're just gonna like, kinda make it snow on top of the pizza here. And believe me, it's not, it's not much but it makes the difference. Let me add a little bit more. Okay, and the other thing, I like to add some fresh extra virgin olive oil on top. Voila, 